Born in 1938, died on Friday 5th January 2018. Gone but not forgotten is the tale of deceased once Archbishop of the Church of Uganda Livingstone Palanyu Koyoyo. For someone who did much for his country, his people, his faith and even for himself, his passing makes him almost impossible to forget. Dr. Nkoyoyo had since December 2016 been undergoing cancer treatment and returned to the country on the 29th of June 2017 from the United Kingdom where he had been hospitalized for months while receiving treatment for cancer before coming to his demise. Livingstone Palanyin Koyoyo, fondly remembered by many as a clergyman, gave up auto mechanics for full-time ministry, beginning as a church teacher. Born in a family of 25 children, on May 1, 1965, Mkoyoyo married Ruth Narwiso at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe, and together they have five children. <laughs> Archbishop Nkoyo served as primate of the Anglican Church of Uganda from 1995 to 2004. During his leadership, he pioneered many visionary initiatives, including being among the vision bearers in the creation of the Uganda Martyrs Museum in Namgongo. That museum, we have left him to move it to where it is, it, it, it is now. I didn't know that he needed more things because by the time the, the Pope came, because when the Pope came, he visited that uh, shrine. Uh, I was there when he came. A lot of work has been done, but I will now uh, meet the Archbishop Mutagari, find out what is needed, and then we can support that work. Koyoyo is also credited in upgrading Bishop Taka Theological College in Mokono into Uganda Christian University, the first university in Uganda to be privately chartered. In his honor, Uganda Christian University named the main hall Koyoyo after him. His love for the youth so many upon his demise take to social media to write of his warmth and how they will miss him. Archbishop Nkoyo was also a tireless advocate of the least, the last and the lost. In 1995, Archbishop helped the Batwa people who had been displaced from Bwindi impenetrable forest. He secured land in the Diocese of Kinkizi for permanent resettlement, including educational and health facilities and life skills training in agriculture. He devoted his retirement to caring for the vulnerable and disadvantaged children, giving them a good education, schools, Nkoyo boarding primary school among them, Martin Nkoyo inclusive primary school, Bishop Nkoyo SS in Matale, and Chain Foundation were the beneficiaries. Nkoyo was also an astute businessman. His rest gardens in Boyogere is probably the most prominent investment to his name. For a life largely remembered on the good note, there were also downsides for the clergyman. His time of service in the church faced several challenges with conflict in the diocese. He also had to put up and make peace with fallouts with flock in Lovoa near Kampala over land issues. While hospitalized battling with cancer in the United Kingdom, some several media platforms reported false news of his death before he had actually died. He was also stuck in the UK over medical bills until the government paid up the balance due. May his soul rest in internal peace.